Hi, welcome to a uh, Lawn Phone Cards video. Today I'm going to show you uh, rubber stamps. This right here is an Amuse Red Rubber Stamp. Um, and it's just your classic red rubber that you grew up stamping with that you're used to. Um, but I wanted to show you a new product that's out there and it's called either a photopolymer or acrylic stamp. And I happen to really love these. This set here is from a company called Paper Tray Ink. It's papertrayink.com and they have beautiful stamp sets. And um, just peeling off a backing here and um, what's really cool about these stamps is they sort of have like a cling sticky back to them so you can put them in CD cases, store them that way, they take up very little space and the other most wonderful thing is that they are clear so you can see right through it and see where you're stamping so I buy these clear acrylic blocks um, I have them in a couple sizes and then you can hear, adhere the stamp right to it and it kind of it works the same way as the wooden stamp I showed you at the beginning. So now all you need is to store a couple blocks instead of hundreds. So right now I'm just using that static cling sticky back that I told you about to adhere it to the acrylic block and I'm ready to go stamp. So now I'm going to show you um, a card. So right now I'm covering the stamp up with uh, Thistle ink. I love fun color names. Uh, this light purple is called Thistle. And it's a chalk ink, so it kind of has this pastel look to it. And I'm just making sure that there's enough ink on the whole stamp. And right now I'm just stamping down. Through the clear stamp I can see exactly where I'm going. And um, I'm getting sort of the bottom part of this flower image. This flower image is uh, a two-step image. So there's one image. Right now I'm now layering the second image over it to make sure it's perfect and I can stick it right to the acrylic block right there so I know that I'll get a good image. So right now I'm going to take um, from these little cues, that's where I got the other one from, um, this warm violet uh, pigment ink. And, um, and you know, just is going to look really nice, the two different purples together. Um, this stamp here, I just have to make sure it's really covered because it has a lot of detail. So I have to keep adding ink to it to make sure that nothing gets left behind in the image. So um, I'm almost ready to stamp now. I'm going to take the stamp, line it over perfectly over that first light purple image, and I'm going to have a two-tone flower um, that's just really beautiful. So here I go, just making sure everything got uh, put onto the paper, and now I have this beautiful flower image. Now this other great thing about stamps is I can take three acrylic stamps, put them on one block to create a, sort of a scene. Right here I have a stem and two leaves. Um, so I can stamp sort of three in one. Um, and you can do this with all sorts of things. Here's another fun color name, Wild Wasabi. It's a beautiful green color um, that I just love. And um, I'm just going to put the ink on the stamp, make sure that it's, um, you know, all, the whole image is completely covered. This is a dye ink, so it absorbs really fast and has a really crisp image. So you can see there's green all over my stamp. And uh, I'm ready to go. And once again, because it's clear, I can just line it up just like that and make it look like this was stamped all in one shot. So here I go, um, pushing down, making sure I get every leaf, the whole stem, on there. And uh, we have a beautiful flower image. So now I'm going to go on to putting this flower image to a card. Um, I buy my cardstock in 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper so that I can buy the recycled um, cardstock, the post-consumer waste and everything, better for the environment. So I just cut and score my own cards. So I'm all ready to go with that. And then right now I'm using a corner rounder to round my corners. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, I can't stop using it, but I just think it makes things look so finished and nice. And it's so easy to use instead of trying to round perfectly with scissors. So here I go, just rounding all four corners. And then um, I'm going to have to adhere it to the card. And I'm going to use something called foam adhesive, or some people call them dimensionals, because they add dimension to your product. It makes it look a little, a little more 3D. So um, I'm just putting them on the back. There they are. Um, I kind of tend to overuse them, so I'm going to fast forward a bit um, uh, till they're all on, because you don't need to see that. And right now I'm just um, adhering it to the card and just getting a wonderful um, 3D look. Um, I'm going to go on from there and add a sentiment. What I do is I lay them straight down on the ground and I use an acrylic block that's really dirty, I'm sorry, and I use the line on it to make sure all the words are lined up with the line. So right now I'm just sticking it to the, to the acrylic block and I'm ready to go and put my black ink on it. This is a black dye ink that dries really well, looks really good, um, and so I'm just making sure the whole, all the letters are covered. 
in ink and I'm going to line it right on my card and stamp it. Now here is a, a problem that happened. I got some black ink on the top of that ink block and you're going to see right now that I got ink on that bottom left hand corner of my flower image. Well it would be a shame to throw this card away and there's always something you can do about it so I decided to add a button. Um, I don't know how to sew on a button um, which is really sad. Um, so I just tied some um, embroidery floss through it and I'm using something called glue dots which I think is the brand name of the product and it's like hot glue without the hot glue gun. They're the best thing. I just go to Michaels and buy some if you need to glue anything onto anything. Um, it sticks forever. So right now I'm just going to put this button on it actually makes the card so much cuter it adds a huge element and I get to cover up my little oops um, my husband's phone just went off but that's alright um, so anyways uh, here's my finished card but then of course I couldn't help it I had to corner round some more so I corner rounded the two edges on the side and um, oh my gosh my dog's freaking out but uh, that's my final image there so I hope you enjoyed the video